Race one for the Model FAM Superbike World Championship was the scene of a battle between the two championship contenders in the early stages of the 20 lap race. Nicolo Bulliger got the whole shot when lights went out ahead of top rack Wales Gantioglu. Behind Danilo Petrucci and Alex Lewis came together with Petrucci running wide and dropping well down the order before he crashed out on the following lap. Alvaro Bautista also crashed. He came down at turn six for the first of his two crashes in the race. Out in front, Ikan Aquona was going for another podium. He got ahead of Alex Lowe's under braking at turn six and soon set his sights on Yamaha's Andrea Locatelli ahead, but he had to look over his shoulder. Alex Lowe's was fighting back. Despite Lowe's and Aquona squabbling, Locatelli was unable to pull a gap over the chasing pack. Out in front, Bulliger was still leading, but Razgatlioglu was closing him down. Just a few attempts separated the pair with 16 laps to go and that gap remained stable in the first half of the race. Lowe's had got ahead of the corner and now he was chasing down Locatelli. Top right grass got locally with five laps to go. As hard as ever on the brakes into turn one, but now setting for second in position to claim his second World Riders Championship. Bautista's second crash came at turn two. He dropped well down the order once again. A disappointing day for him, but Joy for Nicolo Bulliger, a race victory at Haref from lights to flag and the fastest lap to go with it. But all the attention was on top rack Razgat Lioglu. The number 54 was greeted by his rivals after the checkered flag to celebrate his second title and his first with BMW in his first season with the German manufacturer. A traditional stoppy as he arrived into the celebration area and as you would expect from Razgat Lioglu, another unique celebration. This time changing into gold levers with an alien mask, the number one plastered on his BMW M1000RR machine. A burnout in pit lane perhaps didn't quite go to plan as he damaged the rear tyre, but he was still celebrating and greeted by the big crowd at Haref. He celebrated by lifting the Champions Trophy presented to him by World Superbike Executive Director Gregorio Levia back on top of the world for the first time since the 2021 season. Bulliger claiming victory by six seconds in the end as Radzgatli Oglu settled for second. Locatelli returned to the rostrum in third ahead of Alex Lowe's, Ikela Corina and Michael Vandermark. Razgatli Oglu now with an unassailable 41 point lead with two races to go in 2024. The feeling like world champion. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, now I'm not feeling any stress, not uh, excited, you know. For me the season is finished now. We have a two more race uh, tomorrow, but uh, you know I'm just uh, enjoying tomorrow and uh, not feeling the stress for the tomorrow race. And uh, but you know, very long season. Nobody believe me. Nobody believe the BMW. But finally, everyone understand we are the world champion. And uh, yeah, this is the teamwork because everyone working hard and everyone try to improve the bike every race weekend. But finally, the, we are world champion. This is incredible, especially with the BMW, you know. BMW is never winning uh, the title. But finally, uh, I get my second title. BMW get the, the first title in the world championship. Uh, general, I'm very happy now. Yeah, honestly, I'm really happy because uh, it's another win. Uh, so... Uh, that's the ma that's the maximum uh, I can do today, and uh, congratulations to Toprak and BMW because they did a fantastic season. Uh, every race uh, very strong, and uh, yeah, um, I started the, this weekend uh, very fast from FP1. I did a uh, uh, very good feeling from from the first lap. So. Yeah, uh, first race, incredible, very good uh, pace, very good feeling with my bike, so uh, very, very nice win.